So police have released some information regarding the person that they were suspecting of aiding and abetting the Crumleys. I'm Alon Garston. I'm going to make a long story short. I'm bringing you an update from the Oxford High School shooting that happened in Michigan on Tuesday. This person is Andres Sikor. He's 65 years old. He's an immigrant from Poland, and he's dedicated his life to the arts. So this building is his workspace. He's in a warehouse. Anybody from the Midwest knows we have a million warehouses. Midwest is like a super industrial area of America. So it's one of those places where if you hide out in a warehouse, you could possibly like be chilling. So at this point, I'm assuming and saying alleged that Andres Sikora knew what Ethan Crumley had done, right? So he knows that his friends that he doesn't know that well, son, is a high school shooter. And he's been arrested. And the parents are saying, you know, we need somewhere to chill. They may have been telling Andres that, you know, we just want to, you know, stay out of Oxford because it's not safe for us there. Everybody hates us as they should. But... Allegedly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that he knew that they were being charged because those reports came out immediately on Friday. Even I saw them. So he told police that he had no clue that they had been charged on Friday, the same day that he let them in his warehouse of four counts of involuntary manslaughter each. He claims he had no clue. He was just letting them chill. He also claims that he left the warehouse sometime in the afternoon and never returned until after the Crumbleys were arrested. So you left them in this warehouse, your workspace, distraught, didn't check on them, had no clue what was going on in the media. You went home in the afternoon, didn't touch your phone, didn't turn on one, t it was everywhere. It didn't turn on one television. So you had no clue that they had missed their arraignment, which was also Friday afternoon. And at that point, police issued a manhunt and a bolo, meaning be on the lookout for these people. So they've issued a bolo. They missed the arraignment. They're not wanted. This is a manhunt. And you didn't call the police on Friday night before you went to bed and said, oh, you know, I'm pretty sure that them is my good, good girls. And I let them in my warehouse. Go get them. I'm not going to say nothing to them. You didn't do that. Andres didn't reach out to the police until after he saw the arrest on television. So once he was like, damn, they got my friends, but I don't want to be caught up. So I'm going to call the police and tell them, you know, I didn't know all of this stuff was going on. I just thought that, you know, they was around and stopped in. It was maybe a little too lit to drive home, you know? So I let them chill out in my warehouse for a little bit. No, no, Andre, that don't make no sense. Me saying it out loud to all of y'all right now, does that make sense to you? Because the charges, they were charged early Friday morning. The shooting was on Tuesday. They've been trying to charge these people all week. They charge them. They come to you. Need a place to hide. You give them a place to hide. They miss their court date, which is literally that same day. And they issue a damn manhunt in Detroit, in the Detroit suburban area. Because that's where all of this is happening. And you had no clue. You had no clue, sir. And so after they were arrested, then you said, well, let me call the police. You gonna call and snitch on your friends after they get caught? You might as well, if you was gonna be a snitch, you might as well have snitched before they got caught. Like, this is crazy. I'm going to be continuing following this story. Y'all know I do like true crime. Um, I feel like I am the Nancy Drew of the 21st century, and I'm gonna be that girl for you. It's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. I will always keep a long story short. Make sure you turn on your notifications, like this shit, share this shit. There's some real shit going on. You miss a video around this bitch, you will miss a lot. I will talk.